Caitlin? Yes. Wow. I write all this stuff down so I don't get thrown off track. But the important thing that I forget is you have to know how to read, and uh, which can be a problem. Caitlin Anderson, her presentation will be Firehouse Art Center. She's a fifth generation native of Longmont. She's proud to live in the shadow of the mighty Long Peak, Long's Peak. Her passion in life, which is typical in Longmont, is helping people, which has naturally led to numerous paid and volunteer positions. Honey, you gotta make money. No. <laughs> in nonprofit organizations, including her current role as a board member and chair of the fundraising committee of the firehouse. So while she's speaking, we will be passing a little cup around. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And <laughs> her current role as a member of the chair and fundraising committee of the Arts Center, she's devoted to a devoted auntie to three amazing nieces. She's guardian to Toby, Beatrix, Hollis, and Lucky, four of the most beloved shelter pets alive. She lives in Old Town in a house with creaky wooden floors, which those of us who live here know that's a part of living, and wouldn't have it any other way. So at this time, let's give Caitlin a warm pachaka cha welcome. <laughs> Don't trust this thing that sips over at the tilt okay. of the head. Very good. Well, thank you so much for having me here tonight. Uh, the magic of the Firehouse Art Center is that we each connect to something unique about this place. But it's not even a place. It's bigger than that. It's a community. It's our heritage. We experience culture here. We learn. We express ourselves creatively. And we make each other think. So let's take a moment to explore some of the reasons that the firehouse is such a remarkable place. When the first settlers arrived in the area in 1871, their main priority was to create structures quickly and inexpensively. Most of these structures were created out of wood, making the Chicago, Colorado colony, as Longmont was then called, a virtual tinderbox. After several serious fires, the first hook and ladder company was organized in December of 1879. Around this time, the city purchased the lot at 4th and Kaufman, which is where we're now sitting. Uh, that previous image represents what it looked like inside of the firehouse while this building was actually used as a firehouse. I, for one, am thankful that we get to spend an evening together inside a much more beautiful space. So uh, one of the reasons that the Firehouse Art Center stands apart from other galleries is our commitment to providing insight into the contemporary art scene, not only by challenging the viewer's idea of art, but encouraging the viewer to engage with the art and the artist to better understand what they see. The mission of the Firehouse Art Center is to raise cultural awareness and understanding of the arts in the regional community through classes for all ages, lectures, events, and visual art exhibits of regional and national artists. A main goal in line with our mission is to provide free community events, like today, <laughs> and exhibitions throughout the year to draw in a varied audience of visitors and families to explore various forms of artistic and cultural expression. A variety of events make this possible. Artists join us to paint in the gallery while their work is on display. Groups like us gather together to share ideas and learn about new things. Through workshops and classes, artists teach each other new techniques and inspire creativity in one another. Dancers dance and musicians play. We are proud to have founded Longmont's first film festival, providing a venue for this art form to be enjoyed. Filmmakers present their creations through First Friday Film Nights and Front Range Film Festival where free popcorn and beer are offered. <laughs> our strong commitment to art education for youngsters is the core focus of our mission. As our education funding for schools continues to decline in uh, light of budgetary cuts, the need, for, the need for the firehouse in a community like ours becomes greater. Art education provides many benefits it teaches children life skills, such as articulating a vision, learning how to problem solve, 
and learning how to make decisions. Our Art Attack program teaches children from the Casa de la Esperanza community uh, art techniques and history focused on Central American history. Programs like Art Attack are proven to have a tremendous impact on the developmental growth of every child who participates and have also been proven to help level the learning field across socioeconomic boundaries. One of the reasons the firehouse resonates with me so personally is the connection to downtown Longmont. My beloved papa, Jim Gummison, was a third generation in our family to own a business in the 400 block of Main Street on the west side. Uh, in an image that should be coming up shortly, you will see him uh, weighing out some dough at the Daney Pastry in 1991. And though the bakery closed in 1995, it played a major role in my formative years, and many Longmontians remember it fondly as a gathering place. Now, as an adult, I'm finding a similar magic here at the firehouse. All are welcome, the more the merrier. Even you guys in the back. <laughs> it appears as though this is not new to the firehouse. Even back in 1931, people gathered here for good reasons. That's me decorating little cookies <laughs> as a little girl. <laughs> um, so back in 1931, people gathered here for good reasons. The next picture will show Boy Scouts holding a holiday toy drive to benefit the Longmont community. Although we no longer host toy drives, our programs and services provide a great benefit to the city of Longmont and this space still functions as a community gathering place. We're here, right? This sense of community is to me the most important facet of the firehouse's continued presence in Longmont. We've all heard that the arts are essential to the health and vitality of our communities and our nation. They improve the quality of life in our city. They enhance community development, spur urban renewal, attract new businesses, draw tourism dollars, and create an environment that attracts skilled, educated workers. But it's more than that. The arts are integral to the lives of our citizens. We appreciate them for their intrinsic benefits, their beauty and vision, and how they inspire, soothe, provoke, and connect us. They provide bridges between cultures, as you can see by our exhibit today. They embody the accumulated wisdom, intellect, and imagination of humankind. It's a way to communicate with each other, a way to remember our heritage and culture. Thank you each so much for being a part of the Firehouse community. I look forward to many more evenings like this one. In fact, <laughs> I hope you will share with us tomorrow night as we gather for our second annual fundraiser, Share. Uh, we have several of the items that are going to be up for auction in the back in the art department. I hope you'll take a look and I uh, hope you find something you can't live without and that you'll join us back here again tomorrow. Um, that's all I have for you. <laughs>